not going to beat around the bush. Excuse me if I haven't even wiped the crust out of my eyes yet. My voice is scratchy because I literally just woke up 20 minutes ago. I was sleeping. It's like 6.15 in the morning. I check my phone and I get a notification that Kanye West dropped the album. Now, if you don't know anything about Kanye West, you know that this is this is very surprising because um, he owes us about six thousand albums. I'm in shock, but I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to act like like I don't know the fire drill. I've been here before. If you don't know already, Kanye West is one of my favorite artists, is my favorite artist of all time. As you can see in the back right here, let's just cut to the fucking chase vultures. Let's do it. Okay. Mm. Oh. So far, we have like a very dramatic, atmospheric feeling uh, aura to this song. Stars, it, it just sounds like a big deal. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like after The Fallen, you know, in a movie or some shit. It sounds like after like the Transformers come, you know what I'm saying? And they finally run off the Decepticons or some shit. Like, just very like, you know, like a, a grandiose feeling, which is my favorite part about Kanye West music. And shout out to Todd Dolla Sign too. I forgot to, to even say that this is a collab project. This is YS, Y Dollar Sign, Kanye West, Todd Dolla Sign. Mm. Yes. Yes. Take me up to the heavens, Lord. Lord, I need saving. Oh, you hear the strings? Woo! Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Let's fucking go. We're not playing games yet. We're not playing games. We're not playing games. All right. Oh man. Oh man. I got I got energy running through my veins right now. Uh huh. Uh. Mm. Probably talking about Cam on here. You know he still heard about that shit. This is the best Kanye's sounded in a while. Like I'm glad that he sounds clear. He's not stumbling over words. Okay, Ty. Kanye sounds good, man. Oh, yeah. I like the reverse beat going on. Those high pitched vocals. Uh. Mm. Who is that? Keys to my life. That was that was an interesting track. I like the very like dark, moody aura that's going on at the album right now. Kanye is on here. He's obviously talking about you know past relationship. Probably talking about Kim Kardashian. You know, just obviously the guy's still feeling resentful about things. You know, whatever. And, and that's fine. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> last time nigga broke up with somebody, we got to eight away some heartbreaks. So. You know, now we got vultures. I'm I'm with it. I'm I'm with it all the way. Keep breaking up with people, Kanye. I'm feeling I'm feeling this. I like that reverse beat that was going on. Ty Dolla Sign came in very briefly, but you know, Ty Dolla he always gives great vocals, which is why I'm very interested to hear like the rest of this album because I think Ty and Kanye like that's a great pairing. Yeah. Okay. Okay.
All right. I'm st- I'm still I'm still fucking mind blown that I'm listening to the new Bozers. Like what? By the way, I've, I I haven't I purposely haven't listened to any of like the unreleased stuff. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Hey. Yeah. Ah. What the fuck? Ah. <laughs> what the fuck is this voice he's doing? I'm not gonna lie. That might be the first L on the album. Um, But I feel like this small sense that I'm gonna end up liking. <laughs> I'm gonna end up liking the high pitched. Uh, probably like two weeks from now. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Like it. It just it sound a little crazy. Ah, uh, come on, Ty. Me too. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, let's go. Oh yeah. Ah. Uh. What? Yeah, this yeah, Ty Dollar. You know this your bag, boy. You know this your bag. Ah. Ah. Come on. I'm fucking with this. This is hard. This is hard. Who the fuck is that? Uh huh. Ooh. Oh here, killing it. I don't know who that is. Shout out to the niggas that they get paid on Wednesday because they got chime or something. Uh yeah. This that DJ mix right here. Yeah. Hey yo, you ain't got me turned up at 7:30 in the morning, man. Woo! Uh. Uh. Oh yeah. Paid, fire, fire. Um, I'm gonna have to get used to that 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 yay verse. It's a little off kilter, but look, we yay fans, we used to it. You know what I'm saying? This ain't nothing new. You expect the unexpected with yay, but um, yeah, I'm feeling like the dark. But like, this is more like this. This sound like you know, you in the club. You know, it's real dark in there. It's a bunch of people wearing black. You know what I'm saying? Like, this sounds like what Playboy Cardi dresses like. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it, it just sounds very just dark and ominous. Um, but that beat, that groove, that... You know what I'm saying? That, that just sounds like it's straight out of the, the Sahara. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like, sound like the motherland right there. You feel me? Yeah, I'm liking that joint. Ty Dolla Sign killed that shit. I'm telling y'all... When Ty Dolla Sign passes from this life, y'all gonna have to give this nigga his flowers because I've been saying that nigga been crazy. That nigga been tough for a long time. Long time. Go listen to his last album. Go listen to Free TC. That nigga hard. Boss. Jesus Christ. I've heard this, but I never heard it on a speaker, so. North. North, come fuck this up, yo. Gonna test with me. It's Westy. Try to. It's gonna get. Woo! What did, what did Drake? What did Drake's son say? Y'all remember that one? Or, or y'all remember this? We're talking about North. Ooh! All oh, that bass. Oh yeah. Huh. I don't want no problems. Nigga, this shit sound like the monsters in your closet or something, man. Oh wow. Whoa. Mmm. 
That's a really interesting beat. Yeah. Ty is killing this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Has Ye's singing voice gotten better over the years? Like, this is... Sounds good. Talking was fucking hard. I ain't gonna lie. North Carey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I really like... I really like North's part. I love that Ye just included her in this, like... This is such a big moment, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you look back on your life and you realize that... That you did... You, you got a song. You have one of the biggest moments on a Kanye West album. And, oh... He's your dad. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and people love it. And, and people like, you're in the video, the video to this thing. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm fucking fanboying out. Okay. But, but nah, this is, this is this. I love it. I really love it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just love the evolution of, of how the Kanye West career arc is going. Even though, you know, he, he does the crazy shit. The music is still at the highest fucking level. And, that's all you can ask for, man. I love the the really dark monsters in your closet type beat. And then Ty Dolla out of nowhere comes in with this very like heavenly choir vocals kind of. And this beat, it's kind of like a very like spacey. It's hard to explain like the type of beat that's on here, but it's, it's very minimal as well. And Ty Dolla Signs is killing it on the vocals. Um, I just love like the heavenly aura, the contrast between like how dark the song started as well. And Kanye West comes in on the back end of this thing and he sounds great. His vocals sound great as well. I like I like what we're getting so far, man. We're four for four. I I can't I can't say that I, I don't know what I expected. This is the first album where I really haven't dialed into the songs before they came out, or I didn't really listen to the listening parties either. Like I was just like, look, Kanye, put the fucking album out. But um I'm I'm genuinely surprised at this. I'm I'm loving it so far. No. I've heard this one before. I've heard this one. This one's good. Back to me. Nah, this is a great. That's a great melody, man. You'll be running back to me. Hmm. Wouldn't be a yay song without the corny lyrics. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yay, the, the way you've been dating women, I think they do fall out of the sky for you, bro. All right, man. How many fucking times are we going to hear this shit? We're going to hear it again. Damn. He's really milking this fucking saying. Jeez. In the morning, you'll be running back. Hey, Freddy. <laughs> huh. Oh, Freddie's rapping. <laughs> He's trying to get the bills paid on this motherfucker. No. Uh. 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 Back to me. All right. I feel two ways about this. I love the beat. Um, I love the Ty Dolla Sign chorus. It's so catchy. Ty Dolla Sign just does a great job of like just delivering those earworms, man. Um, Freddie Gibbs did a great job. You know what I'm saying? The Kanye West effect on fucking features is it's still alive and well. Niggas come out to play for that yay feature. It's hard to find a bad feature. There's a couple. There's a couple on, on, on Kanye West songs, but that nigga makes people really, really put their best shit out. 
Um, yeah, Freddie Gibbs killed it. I love some of the bars on here. The editorial bar, the uh, Elon bar was fire too. But <sighs> Kanye, I think it was like two minutes in, and we heard beautiful but naked big daddy women just don't fall out the sky. You know, like we've heard that shit like eight times already, young. Like I get it, I get it. It's a funny bar. It's a funny sample, but let it rest. You know what I'm saying? Let it, let it, let it go back to wherever it came from, and put some other shit in there. Um, but obviously, you know, if you if you look at the album cover, you can see that this 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 bar really speaks to him. Um, but yeah, that's my only gripe with the song. Other than that, it's a great track. It's a great track. Whoa the fuck who the hell produced this okay I'm singing is iffy Tadala still killing it The Kanye singing on here, it's it's a little spotty. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't know, man. Okay, fuck with the sample at the end. Yeah, hood hood right is interesting. Um, it's got this really like, I don't know, like kind of washed out, distorted beat in the back. And you got this hood rat sample kind of just going throughout consistently through the whole song. And then you know Kanye and Ty Dolla just both giving like these very like passionate vocals um, as they're singing about you know buying women Gucci and shit. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't I don't really know how I feel about this one. It was kind of hard to catch a vibe on here. And some of the Kanye singing was a little spotty. I'm not I don't know if I was really feeling it. Ty Dolla sounded great. I mean, he's he's really really a singer. Um you can kind of tell the difference in both of them, but I don't really know. I don't really know about this one. <laughs> I might have to I might have to give that a few extra listens for sure. Is Nipsey? Oh shit. Ah. Ah. Right. God damn. Yeah. 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 Ah. What? What? Right. This one's definitely like strip club ready, you know what I'm saying? Okay, produced by Wheezy, Kanye West, Krishan, and JPEG Mafia. Oh shit. Oh, that's yay yeah, yay. Yeah. <laughs> W Kanye verse. Oh, that's YG. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Very interested to see like what JPEG actually did on that because that's not what you would like expect JPEG to rap on. Or I mean not rap on, but produce on. Um yeah, that that was that was interesting. I did like the Kanye verse on there. This joint sound like, you know what I'm saying, shaking ass, throwing money in the club, you know what I'm saying? It's got the back that ass up sample on there. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's the perfect vibe for it. Nipsey hustle on the intro here, which was Super interesting. 
But yeah, it, it sounds like a fun track. You know what I'm saying? They just having fun. You know what I'm saying? This sound like a like an ATM at a strip club. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is what the ATM is listening to. YG on the end of this joint. Um, yeah, it, it was a cool song. It was a cool song. Mm. Quavo and the ad libs. Whoa. Mm. Probably the most different abstract beat that Quavo's ever rapped on. Interesting. Very Yeezus like with the production on there. Very distorted, very like heavy and dramatic. Yeah, it it was it was an interesting track to say the least. That Quavo feature, like, I don't I don't really know what that brought to the table, in my opinion. I honestly I don't really know what Quavo brings to the table on any feature unless it's on Amigos album. Um I don't know if like like I feel like that could have been obviously replaced by like Travis Scott or something and came off way better. Um yeah, yeah. It was it was just like a run of the mill feature for me. Definitely an interesting track for sure. Like the beat was very like industrial. It's like very, very like R and B, soulful. That was one of the best, like, Kanye verses I've heard in a while. Like, that sounded like the old Kanye. I fucked with that. I fucked with Burn. Uh, who produced that? I gotta know. Oh, a lot of people. But you got Azul, Beam. Yeah. Okay. That was that was tough. I fucked with that. Very soulful. You know what I'm saying? Kind of felt like a throwback, yay, a little bit. Ty Dolla Sign giving some, you know, good vocals as well. But um, yeah, yeah, I, I really like this verse on there. Like he definitely sound like you know he tapped in to like just some type of energy that that, that was around like the college dropout, late registration. You know what I'm saying? Graduation type of era. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Cardi, Cardi, ah, yeah. Some right now, damn. I like the bounce to this a lot. High pitch. Who the fuck is that? Kanye, oh, yeah. you didn't need to do that. Ugh. I don't care who you fuck, you a virgin to me? Travi? Oh my God, this song is a 15 year old's dream right now. Um, right now. Uh, fuck something is tight. Fuck something sound like what you walk. There's just something like so like grungy about that joint. Like those really like just heavy, nasty muddy sense going on in the back yeah i liked it i liked the energy from cardi yay with that weird high pitch stuff i don't i don't know about that one but uh when he finally came in normally that shit was tight travis travis came in tough too ty dollar sign is delivering like some very very catchy melodies here um he's definitely making sure that like every song is it's memorable in some way you know what i'm saying and uh i think it's tough
Rap music. Dirkio. Uh. Ty Dollar going off, man. He said, I'm going 36 bars. Ah. Ooh. 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 Yeah. That's what the fuck I'm talking about, yay. Bring that shit back. Bro, we talking about one of the best producers of all time giving you the full fucking feeling. He doesn't leave you without a full feeling. Oh! Do I even need to say nothing? I don't need to say nothing, right? Vultures. Yo. It's only right that the, the title track is like that. Yes. Yes, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, man. The production on this thing is so good. I love it. I, I love how it started off so dark and demonic. I love how Bump J, Dirk, and Ye like bring that Chicago energy. You know what I'm saying? But once we get to Ty Dollar's part, he steals the show. Like I'm talking about, dude goes off. I didn't even know he could do something like that. Like. He just went crazy. And as as he his verse kept going on, the background just gets even more beautiful. And then it gets to the end and then it just goes back to the like, oh my God. This is that. That's that goosebumps feeling that I'm talking about, man. That's what I want my fucking music to do, man. All these niggas putting out this microwave music, man. Make me fucking feel something. Shit. Oh. I feel like I'm in a fucking a stadium for a death match. I'm I'm very scared about where this is gonna go. Where's the kid? You hear this beat and you immediately think, Where's the kid? He's kinda going off though, I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Ooh. If y'all don't know, that was like the, the hell of a life sample right there. Ah. Uh. What? <laughs> what? What? 
We got Yeezus Ye back. Let's go. Cardi. Uh, oh my God. This shit would be insane in a stadium. What? The fucking place might melt. <laughs> uh, Cardi is really rapping on this shit. Oh my God. Do y'all hear this shit? Yeah. Entered a point in the album where I'm I'm blown away by the tracks. Like I don't even know if I can fully process what I just heard. I feel like I've entered Gotham fucking city. Like this is like Arkham Asylum type music. Like this this sounds like what Kanye wears every fucking day. This this it's obvious why he's making this fucking type of music. The nigga's a fucking gargoyle. Everything's so dark. Like. It's almost insane that this is the same guy that made Jesus is King. Like, such a positive feeling album. Like, this is so just dark and heavy and nasty. Oh, my God. And it's like he's kind of going away from, like, that 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 really minimum, minimal, uh, you know, type of track that he's kind of catered to, like, on, like, Donda. This stuff is, like heavy it's layered it's thick i fucking love it could i tell you that i was going to love arista kid first <laughs> this year no i never thought that i would <laughs> i never thought that i would come to that conclusion but it works somehow it works i don't understand you've gone too far. all right chris you've gone too far hmm. shit my fucking speakers oh my god i had to turn the fucking bass on my speakers now Cause that shit was about to rattle out of this world. I'm I'm hearing the Jesus energy here. Oh man. Oh man. This sounds like you're like just riding through a, a fallen city in the future. It's a it's a beautiful melody from Chris. It's interesting to hear him in his bag. Fuck is going on? Whoa. Ty is singing like the rent is due on this bitch. Dude is literally yelling on this bitch. Uh. Uh. The strings. Wow. Wow. Oh. I, I love how 
Ty is not like it's not like you know Kanye featuring Ty Dolla on every song. Like Ty Dolla is well ingrained in every track here, and on a lot of these tracks, he's the star of the show. You know, like his vocal talent is really showing on here. It's beautiful to see, honestly. This joint was, man, it was it was really interesting. It was you know like kind of like the opposite from what we heard on you know Carnival. Um, this one was like a very minimal, you know what I'm saying? This bass line, you know what I'm saying? This this ongoing melody from Chris. It, it does carry that same like dark, ominous feeling though. And I, I liked it. I liked it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it allows you to kind of breathe and just sit with the music. Chris had a great vocals on there. Is that Yeba? Sounds like you this hopeless night came a thousand miles to see you smile tonight. Don't die, don't die. It's kind of sound like some 808s. Some 808s and heartbreak stuff. There's some beautiful melodies on this thing. Hmm. <laughs> okay. This whole thing's entirely produced by Kanye West and no ID. Nice. Super interesting uh, track right there. Definitely a different kind of like uh, energy that it went into. Like this one definitely had like more of a driving beat. Um, also minimal, but very spacey, atmospheric. Just this, this constant going melody um, from who is that singing? Okay. It seems like that's a Donna Summer sample. Um, but yeah, I like how they used it. I like how they stretched out, uh, you know, th those vocals that she was doing at the back end of this thing. Ty came in, sounded beautiful once again. I like Ye bringing in, like, you know, introducing that melody. Um, yeah, it was some strong 808s and Heartbreaks vibes on this for sure. Um, just like the coldness of it. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm interested. I'm very, I'm very surprised at some of these tracks given that i haven't listened to a lot of you know stuff prior to the album so a lot of this stuff is like you know my first time really hearing it and yeah i'm i'm, I'm liking what i'm hearing so far sample chops okay Okay. Fucking with it. Uh, the back and forth from Kanye and Ty. Still 
<laughs> what, what the fuck? Ridiculous. Don't cut. Yeah, don't do that. Don't be calling back to your old shit. You know you don't do stuff like that. Come on, that don't play with my heart. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh uh, man. Um. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I like the chopped up sample. I like the you know no beat. You know just straight melodies, straight sample. You know what I'm saying? I, I like it. Back and forth from Ye and Ty. What Kanye is going off on here, you know what I'm saying? He was barring out. Had some weird bars, you know what I'm saying? Talking about him and his wife and him being 15 years older and shit. I don't know about that, but I like, I just like the energy. I like that Kanye sounds clear and concise because I feel like the last couple of years, especially like the life of Pablo, Donda era, like I just felt like his rapping uh, just wasn't focused. You know, he sounded shaky. He sounded... Hasn't sounded like that super confident Kanye that we've all came to know. And on here, on Vultures, Ye ain't playing no games. Ye knows exactly what the fuck he wants to say. And he's saying it in a way where it's, it's, it's you believe it, you feel it. And I fuck with that. I fuck with that heavy. I feel like I'm, I'm dick sucking because Ye is my favorite artist and I'm getting excited. <laughs> Last track. Produced by Wheezy, Lester Nowhere, and JPEG. Tough. Tough. Ah. Ah. I fuck with it. Ah. King, last track on the album. I like that one too. Um, Kanye is kind of just like addressing directly, like, you know, the things that people have been saying about him the last few years. You know, being an anti Semite or claiming that he's an anti Semite. He's claiming he's bipolar, crazy. But at the end of the day, he's like, I'm still king. And is he wrong? You know, like, at the end of the day, Kanye is, he's still regarded as like you know one of the the greatest artists of our time you know his music is still highly favored highly regarded you know like what has it stopped him from doing of course there's been things like you know the adidas deal and like you know him being able to perform in certain places but at the end of the day niggas want kanye's pull they want yay's pull they want his, his the, the gravity that he has and that's going to propel him forever <laughs> like this he's done the craziest shit he said the craziest shit and yet he's he's here still i don't get it i don't know why but i don't know what it proves but man he's it's it's crazy it's crazy um this song was like it, it was such an interesting beat a lot of like clashing going on with those snares you know what i'm saying like it just sounded very like like punk if if that makes sense, um, and I, I love the, uh, the the repeated you know uh, phrase that he went, "I'm still king," and of course the back and forth between Tadala and Ye on here was tough. You know, I think their chemistry is really good. They 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 feed off each other well. Ty kind of picks up and gives us more of a, a a melodic approach to it, and I think it's really nice. Yeah, man, king. So we, we we've listened to Vultures One. Um man, that was a fucking ride. 
Um, man, I think I'm coming out of this album liking it. And I think that there's a lot to grow on here. I mean, I'm not just saying that because I'm a fucking super fan or whatever. But obviously, Ye has still got it. You know what I'm saying? He sounds the clearest and most concise that he's sound in a while on here. Um, and we really got to give it up for Ty Dolla Sign, bro. Like, yeah, Ye is the bigger name here. But Ty has proven that he's... A amazing talent his vocal ability the way he's able to stack his vocals and layer it, it it's heavenly you know what i'm saying like he brings such like a, a heavenly aura to these tracks that he's on and um it elevates the energy like I, I just love like at the end of vultures when he was just you know going into this space like you know what i'm saying like it it, it, it was amazing and, and and what I'm most surprised at this album is there's it keeps a certain theme, you know, throughout 16 tracks, you know, it's, it's not a short album. It's not a short album by any means, but it definitely keeps like a, a certain energy to it. A lot of these tracks are dark, you know, they're very spacey, very atmospheric. Some of them are super grungy. And I love that it still delivers different energies without like swaying away from the theme. For instance, like. For instance, when the album starts, it kind of starts off with this really dramatic feeling, this really minimal uh, feeling, but also kind of like just sporadic, like you don't know what's going to happen, like on stars, keys to my life. Um, but at some point in the album, it gets like really just crazy. And specifically, I'm talking about around Fuck Some Vultures Carnival, like where the energy just goes insane. It, it just turns into a whole different level could probably add burn into that as well um and then as the track i mean as the album kind of closes off um it's got these really interesting tracks where it has more of a, a laid back beat or no beat at all um and where kanye and ty kind of focus on their melodies and what they're saying um like beg forgiveness with the chris brown vocals um they kind of just go throughout the track or uh good or good which has like this uh donna summer sample that they stretch out throughout the song i think the features also give interesting results as well um they play really well with stuff like vultures where you got bump j lil dirk both of them give such a a great energy to the song i love how bump j starts off the track carnival has rich the kid um and playboy cardi uh, but but some of these features kind of like you know i don't i don't know how where they sit really um, for instance, like that track that Quavo was on, I felt like that was kind of, you know, random. And I don't feel like he he fit the song as best or was able to add to it as somebody like a, maybe like a Travis Scott was able to. But I think everybody else played their part pretty well. Um, and it's proven that Kanye is still able to bring out the best in artists like the track with Freddie Gibbs on it. He fucking rapped like he, he he had to pay his bills tomorrow, like he was getting evicted tomorrow. And yeah, there's tracks on here where I don't really know what's going on. There's tracks where Kanye's doing this super high pitched voice, and I'm just like, what the fuck was that? You know, he, he's definitely still making some weird decisions as far as like where to go with his verses. But I do think that he's still giving uh, some some passionate and and emphatic verses on here, and I I love that. But Ty Dolla Sign, I think definitely um was the MVP on here in my opinion. I think that he really just delivered some some really great heavenly vocals throughout this thing and and yeah man vultures won i mean i really didn't know what to expect but i think i'm happy with what i got i can't wait to kind of just play this album some more really sit with it put the headphones on ride with it in the car and um just like really experience this thing because it, it feels like it feels like a totally different energy, a totally different world that you're in. And I love music that's like that. And that's why I love Kanye West, too. He puts you in a, a different world. Every album, you're in that world, that moment that Kanye created. And yeah, man, I think the same is for this album. Um, I'm not going to go on a limb and say, oh, is this best album or this is the best album and blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to compare it. I'm just going to take it for what it is right now. And then we can compare it let down the line, you know. But yeah, man, thanks you guys for watching. Thanks for riding with me. Comment down below what you liked about Vultures. Let me know your favorite tracks, your least favorite tracks. How do you feel about this album in comparison like to its discography? And after you guys do all that, do me a 
big, big favor and like this video. After you like this video, go ahead and share it to your friend, your mama's mom, your, your, your mama's mom's best friend that don't really like her no more, but just send it to her anyway. And after you share it and go through all that shit, subscribe, man. Hit the red fucking box and subscribe. Turn the notification bell on so you know when Soul Tracks is dropping. Thank you guys for watching again. Y'all be safe. Love yours and love hard. Yeah, I'm tired all the time.